Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial for how to create a motion path and how to have an object follow that motion path. Um, I'm going to show you two little things. Uh, first, how to make the object follow a motion path and then how to specify which way that object is facing while following the motion path. Um, it's going to help you a lot when it comes to animation. So um, first what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, uh, a curve for our object to follow. Um, so let's go to create and then you're going to go to the EP curve tool. That's what I like to use. And it kind of estimates between your clicks what the curve is going to look like. So you can get a really smooth curve. And that should do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this curve a little more towards the middle. All right. So um, now we're going to create an object. So let's do a, uh, a sphere and we'll just put it at the beginning of our curve here. And um, the way you do this is you just select your object. Then you select your curve also by shift clicking that. And then you're going to go make sure your animation tab is selected here. Say animate motion paths attached to motion path dialog box. Do start to end. And we're going to put the end time at, um, let's try 300. And uh, have it follow. Um, just say follow. Um, and that looks good. So just say apply. And then uh, we're going to put this at 300 to make sure your time is there so you can see the whole animation play through. Um, and then hit play. And as you can see, the object is moving through. Um, it's moving through the path. And um, that's great and everything, but uh, I don't know anybody who's just going to animate a sphere going along a path. So what we're going to do is actually create a new system here. Um, I'm going to use a complex uh, object. This is a uh, Republic fighter. It's a little spaceship I designed for a little movie I'm doing. We're going to use this for our path. Um, so let me get this shrunken down a little bit. And I'll move it off to the side for now. And uh, let's draw our curve here. So we'll have it start here, kind of spin around. You know, just do what ships do. Just kind of fly around. All right. And uh, do the same thing we did before. Select our object. Shift. Select our path. Animate. Motion path. Attach to motion path. And uh, what I like to do is uh, say front axis X. This usually works. It depends on how you constructed your object. Um, which was your X and Y axis. It really depends on how it's constructed. So you can play around at these later if it's not working out yet. Um, we'll get to that bridge when we, uh, we'll cross it when we come to it. Um, so X for the front axis, Y for the up axis, follow. Um, bank is important um, so that when you hit a curve, the ship is going to kind of tilt just like you would see if something was actually flying down a path. And we'll do a bank scale of, let's do two and uh, we'll keep this uh, the bank limit in 90 um, that works so we'll hit apply and that's great uh, it looks like our object is um, following the path and everything but it's something's wrong look it's going backwards it's not good so there's a little fix for this um, it's banking you know that's great we want it to do that um, <laughs> but it shouldn't be going backwards. So what we're going to do is go over here and select motion path and you're going to go to inverse front and it's going to flip your object for you. Um, now let's say that you built something, uh, and when you put it on the path, it kind of looks like this. It's, it's like flying along your path, <laughs> like, uh, sideways or something. Usually the best thing to do is have front axis X up axis Y. And if it doesn't work for your object, just play around with these until you get it the way you want it. But that's usually how you get it to work. Um, and if you increase your bank scale here, uh, I'll put it up at 5. Um, it really, it changes how much it'll tilt when it's going through these curves here. So that's kind of important. But um, yeah, it's not a very fluid animation, you know, it's just kind of quickly put together. But that's how you make an object follow a path. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. So thank you for watching.